All right, we have a lot of AI news to catch up on. First up, we've got all new models from Google, OpenAI, and Anthropic. Uh, Google dropped Gemini 3, which is easily becoming one of my favorite workhorse AI uh, models. If you haven't gotten a chance to check it out, you definitely should. It's market research, phenomenal. It's image generation through Nano Banana Pro, top of the line, best in the business right now. Uh, it's not so great at writing, we'll get into that. Um, Claude's Opus 4.5 is by far the best coder. In fact, according to some of their own internal testing, and their testing is actually considered state of the art, this model is the first one that actually outperforms human software engineers. That's a massive milestone. Um, and this model writes like a human. It's probably one of my favorites when it comes to rewriting. And then the ChatGPT 5.1 Pro. I haven't gotten a chance to test this one myself because you have to have the $200 a month Pro subscription to get that. I like you all, but I'm not dropping that kind of money just to test the new model. Perplexity and ChatGPT have dropped AI shopping assistants that are more robust than we've seen before. Say you're searching for a 15 inch laptop and you give it a few parameters, I need it to do X, Y, and Z. They will find you the best possible deals, including pricing and allow you to do that full shopping experience right within your favorite chat bot. This is actually really useful and perfect timing considering Black Friday and Cyber Monday are just around the corner. The European Un Union is actually about to rewrite three of their major AI uh, resolutions due to pressures by President Trump and American-based AI companies. Uh, I had praised the European Union for some of these moves before because they were good with data privacy, uh, especially for the end users, but money talks and unfortunately it looks like those three resolutions are either going to get rewritten or revamped and that includes the EU AI Act, the Digital Services Act, and the Digital Markets Act. All three of those are in danger of being completely revamped as we know it. The last one, the White House just released an executive order two days ago from President Trump uh, announcing the Genesis mission. This is a Manhattan Project level AI push. This is a federal AI push, similar to what we've seen out of the United Arab Emirates and Switzerland before, where they're gonna come up with foundational models and push AI from a governmental perspective. But the Manhattan Project created nuclear power as we know it today, including the nuclear bomb. So if they're comparing this Genesis mission to that, it's got some very interesting potential. 